trapped. A northern Kentucky woman says a train was stopped on the tracks outside of her home for more than two hours. It's happened before, in fact, and while there wasn't an emergency this time, she's concerned about it happening again. Nine on your side reporter TJ Parker went looking for answers in Kenton County. This railroad crossing is the only way in and out of Stephanie Baldwin's Kenton County home. What if there was a medical emergency? And after this train was stuck on the tracks for more than two hours, she's concerned if there's an emergency, she'll be left helpless. I do hope that nothing will happen, but what if it does? And to not have any access and to be told, well, we'll do everything we can to break the train apart so emergency vehicles can access you. It's just not that easy. It is not safe on any level to have a train potentially break down. After noticing that train wasn't moving and was stuck on the tracks for quite some time, Stephanie decided to get a hold of CSX to get some answers. And there was no indication or willingness of this person on the phone to say, let me see what I can do. Let me try to at least get the train moved away from your crossing. A CSX representative told Stephanie the train stopped for a mechanical problem. Not on your side went looking for answers. CSX told us inspecting the train for those issues takes time as the crew has to walk its length. This train was 7,700 feet long. A company spokeswoman says they make every effort to stop trains in areas where they don't block driveways. In this case, CSX says they did notify the Kenton County Sheriff's Office that this happened. And I just worry... If something happened, what would we do? Stephanie still wants answers. She says this wooden bridge could be a solution, but the state says it's unsafe. She believes CSX is responsible for its repair. In Kenton County, I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side. And CSX has not returned our request for comment on repairing the wooden bridge. You can read the full CXS statement on our website, WCPO.com.